From the 2016 NCAA Tournament in Brooklyn, this West Virginia men's basketball update is presented by the West Virginia Division of Tourism. Real adventure, wild, wonderful West Virginia. You'll find it here. We welcome you inside the Barclays Center where it is practice day for the Mountaineers as they get set for their opening round game against the Lumberjacks of Stephen F. Austin. Hi everybody, Tony Caridi along with Jay Jacobs. Well here it is, they dream all season about making it to the NCAA tournament and now Jay, they focus in on a Stephen F. Austin team that I think certainly has garnered their respect since getting the bid on Sunday. I think they've watched a lot of tape and they know what's in store for them coming up tomorrow night. Well, Tony, here you go. You don't, uh, don't underestimate your opponent because when you do, you get yourself in trouble. This is a team, the Lumberjacks, have won 20 straight games. One other thing, teams that press don't like to be pressed. Well, that's out the window in this one because both teams like to press, and we don't want to have this happen at the end of the game tomorrow night. Timber! That's a solid oh, point on your part there, Jay, yeah. with animation. All right, so earlier today, Mountaineers hit the podium. Jay Sean Page, obviously, coming back to the New York metropolitan area. He was asked about playing in front of some hometown fans. Um, you know, my second time playing here, you know, it means a lot, you know, um, you know, just seeing hard work pay off and, you know, getting to play in front of my family and friends, you know, just speaks for itself. Just give us your scouting report on Stephen F. Austin. What do you see out of them? What causes problems? What do you have to do well? You know, um, they pass the ball well, and, you know, run good offense. So, you know, we just got to be aware and, you know, just do what we do. Dad. Um, same thing. Uh, well coached group. Uh, a group that shouldn't be taken lightly. Uh, but for the most part, you know, if we go out there and just do what we're supposed to do and uh, follow the game plan, we should be okay. And as for head coach Bob Huggins, yeah, he has been to many NCAA tournaments. But, Jay, it doesn't matter how many you've been in, they are always so special when it's one and done. Well, that's for sure, Tony. And I think Huggs is approaching it this way, looking at the practices he's had in Morgantown and then coming out here and working today. But you have to make sure that you're in a position because, as you said, this is it. This is the NCAA. This is big time. It begs the question, one reporter asked, who's got more of an advantage? Is it Bob Huggins knowing Brad Underwood or is it Brad Underwood because he knows Bob Huggins? Probably more an advantage for Brad than it is for me. Because, you know, we were obviously running my stuff. Uh, and Brad runs, does a great job with the, with the pinch post stuff, which I've never, I've never really ran. But... I've known Brad for a long, long time. I know Brad when uh, he was at Dodge City Community College and we were recruiting some of his guys. That was a long time ago. That was in the early 90s. So, And then recruited one of his guys at uh, Daytona Beach. So we go way back. And so as the Mountaineers warm, the question becomes, what are the absolute keys for a victory for West Virginia? We'll ask you, what has to happen out here? Well, you've got to be able to pressure the basketball. And also on the other end, you've got to be able to handle the pressure. Rebounding is a huge key at both ends for West Virginia. And push the ball, stick it inside. Let Williams, let Holton, let Nate Adrian, those guys have got to be the stars tomorrow night. All right, this team seems relaxed. They are ready to go. It's West Virginia and Stephen F. Austin. Tip-off time set for 7-10. Our pregame coverage on MSN Radio begins at 6. Along with Jay Jacobs, I'm Tony Caridi from here in Brooklyn. And Mountaineers in the NCAA Tournament on WVUSports.com. From the 2016 NCAA Tournament in Brooklyn, this West Virginia men's basketball update has been presented by the West Virginia Division of Tourism. Real adventure. Wild, wonderful West Virginia. You'll find it here.